Hi, I'm Autumn Dawson, and I'm going to talk to you today about a recent vision that I had. I had this vision, and there were two lanes on a freeway. There were people standing in both lanes on the freeway, and one of the lanes had a red light in front of it, and the other lane had a green light in front of it. And the people who were in the red lane, I began to notice the frustration that was on their face. Some of them even looked angry or very irritated. Uh, in the vision, and I realized the people who were in the other lane, they had a green light, and they just were moving. They were accelerating. They were going, and I realized that the Lord was trying to show me that this is such a word for this hour, that many of us are frustrated, maybe even angry or irritated because we're in the wrong lane, and I feel just the Holy Spirit saying, some of you, it's time to shift into the other lane. It's time for you to get into the lane where you can accelerate. It's time for you to get in the field where you can grow. It's time for you to get in the place where you can move forward with your life. And the Holy Spirit just reminded me of this passage of scripture uh, in the book of Ruth. And Ruth was a woman who was weary. She was destitute in some areas. Uh, She was a widow. And here she is in this land trying to provide for not only herself, but also her mother-in-law. And Ruth began to go into a certain field. It was Boaz's field. And when Ruth would go, the reapers would go before Ruth, and they were reaping the harvest of the field. And typically what would happen, little pieces, little fragments would be left left behind. And the women who were destitute, the people who were looking for food, they would go behind the reapers, and they would just begin to get those little fragments And what happened with Ruth is this, Boaz, who is the owner of the field, he began to say, don't just leave little pieces, little fragments uh, behind for Ruth. This is what I want you to do for her. I want you to leave handfuls behind for her. So Ruth was in Boaz's field. And as she was going behind the reapers, she was picking up handfuls of food. You see, when you're in the right field, your provision will be there. When you're in the right lane where you can accelerate, when you're in the right place where you're supposed to be with God, provision will come, open doors, opportunities will come to you. You just have to get in the right field. If Ruth had been in another man's field, she may have starved and her mother-in-law too. But because Ruth was in Boaz's field, not only did she reap enough for herself, not only did she reap enough for her mother-in-law, but Ruth ended up owning the whole field. And that I believe this is the season what, what God is going to do with you. He's going to begin to get you in that right place so that provision can be made for you and your family, and you begin to start operating in ownership instead of stewardship. He's shifting you into that next season of your life. But it requires a shift out of you. It requires you to get out of park, to get out of the frustrated place. Some of you, it means change in location. Some of you, it means a job switch. Some of you, maybe you're in the wrong ministry right now. And the Lord's trying to shift you in a place where you can move and accelerate and grow. Only you know what God is shifting you from. But I want to tell you, if you stay in the lane with the red light, you're going to remain frustrated. You're going to remain angry and irritable. And this morning, the Lord gave me the scripture. I'm going to read it to you. It's out of Psalms 32, 8 and 9. I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you, instructing you and guiding you along the pathway for your life. I will advise you along the way and lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. So don't make it difficult. Don't be stubborn. When I take you where you've not been before, don't make me tug at you and pull you along the way. Just come with me. And I just feel like that is just what the Lord is saying. You're going to go to a place that you've never been before, but don't make it difficult. So many times we make shifting with God a difficult thing. Don't make him tug you along the way. Just go with him. Just get in that right lane and begin to say yes to God. Just begin to tell your heart, I'm going to do what God has told me me to do. Just begin to tell yourself, I don't care what it looks like. I'm not going to be frustrated anymore. If it means me getting out of my comfort zone, if it means making these changes in my life in order for me to accelerate, I am willing to do it because this is a season to reap in the right field.